Here we have a haystack like shrub. This is Jasminum nudiflorum, uh, the winter flowering jasmine. Now this really is one of the first blooming uh, shrubs for us. Uh, and I'm calling it a shrub, but in some situations it almost looks like a vine uh, because of its long cascading branches. Uh, now uh, we are here in August uh, where this has made uh, this kind of dense green mound. Uh, when we get to the very early spring, for us in the eastern part of the United States, in Tennessee where we're at, uh, this will be almost uh, completely gone, the foliage completely gone, uh, maybe some of it left, maybe some of it gone, uh, and it will completely be covered in tubular yellow flowers. A lot of people, as they drive by this location, I'm actually showing you this plant, they'll say, oh, the forsythia is in bloom. Well, this is not forsythia, it typically blooms before forsythia. Uh, this is jasminum nudifolium uh, or nudiflorum, uh, and it is a great shrub for this situation, commercial landscapes, uh, maybe a home landscape uh, where you need something kind of dense and thick uh, to take, kind of take on an area, uh, but it also gives you that great very early, hype, hyper, hyper early spring bloom. Jasminum nudiflorum, the winter flowering jasmine or just winter jasmine. Now, I'm actually, I'm struggling with what to call this. It really depends on the situation. Is it a vine or is it a shrub? Well, in some situations it is actually more like a vine. And in some situations it's more like a shrub. A lot of times I see it classified as a vine. Native to northern China, hardy from zone six through 10. Uh, why we might consider this as a vine is actually it can uh, get uh, 10 foot tall, uh, but spread out with long branches, uh, six, feet, uh, six feet long. Uh, that would be a very big plant. It can uh, be controlled by pruning. Typically, if you see kind of a wild hair uh, stick up, uh, you might want to prune that back just a little bit. The bloom time, uh, sometimes late January, sometimes early February, yellow tubular flowers, loves full sun to part shade, uh, really has a medium uh, water requirement, could be used as a ground cover, could be used to help naturalize an area, uh, and it really can tolerate heavier shade. It can be out in some sun, but it can also tolerate uh, some heavy shade. So as you look up a uh, close up of this stem, you're going to see oppositely arranged trifoliate leaves, which are really the ha hallmark or the ID characteristic that you want to look at. Also, these green stems are something that you can clue in as an ID characteristic. As you go and find this plant for yourself and you feel the stem, you'll actually feel an angular nature to the stem, which will help you identify this plant. Here's a landscape tip. Use as a mass as a ground cover on slopes, banks, and terraces. Trail the stems of this plant over a stone wall or terrace for a nice effect.